Hello world, it's Ritesh and welcome to the next part of this series named Image Classifier with TensorFlow and in this video I am going to retrain the model with TensorFlow on 5 basic categories of flower photos. If you don't have already those you can see my previous videos whose link are given in the description and for now you, you should have this folder and containing all these files so that will be good for the training. And if you don't have already, you can see my previous videos. So now open your favorite web browser and then go to this URL, means morality slash tensorflow for poets. Link is given in the description. You can check that. So as in my previous videos, you can you have already installed pip installed tensorflow. Sorry, means I'm guessing you have already installed tensorflow. Also, you have already cloned this repository from github means this tensorflow for poets 2 then you should have the training images means 5 basic flower images on which we are going to retrain the model now and also one thing to note that if you don't uh, know how to download this flower images you can use my a code named file download.py and also see videos about that on youtube okay so now here the main thing occurs which means i am going to retrain the network so the retraining script can retrain other inception v3 or a mobile net and inception v3 offers a, means a great accuracy on the cost of your space means it will took a lot of size that model will be a lot of size and but but the accuracy will be great and for example an inception v3 model will be about 85 to 90 mb megabytes but on the other hand mobile net will be about 90 to 20 mb and your uh, inception v3 model will give you about 90 percent of accuracy on the other hand mobile net will give you about uh, 70 to 75 percent of accuracy so but in this video i am going to return the models on inception v3 so the architecture for this is inception v3 as in this line of code so just copy that and one thing to note that if you want to train this on windows means on your same pc you can do that as i am going to do now and also i am going to do means i am going to retrain the network on google cloud machine means google cloud virtual machine okay so just copy the this line of codes and now open your command prompt by typing cmd in the address bar okay now just paste paste all those but in command prompt i have always seen this error so this will not work so one thing to note that you have to copy that go in your browser and remove all these as i am doing okay this is one of the most worst feature of the command prompt i have ever seen okay give me some time remove all those okay now copy this and now paste this in your command prompt okay remove all that and paste that now hit enter so this script will download a pre-trained pre -trained model inception v3 by google and then adds a final layer to it means the inception v3 model has been trained on several millions of images by google and this image were provided by imagenet this is the website you can see and at the same time this means our script will download the inception v3 model and then add a final layer which inception has already been trained means for example inception will have al already been trained on such flowers but this script will add a final layer means now the whatever we get the graph means the model it will classify only five type of images not a lot not a millions okay so it will take about 30 to 
an hour, more than an hour on a Windows machine, okay, for retraining. And if you are doing, you can do this on also on uh, here means as a Google Cloud virtual machine using. So go ahead to cloud.google.com and hit go to console. Okay, we are going to console and. Why I am doing this because this will take a lot of time. This will take a lot of time as it is first downloading then we will add a final level to all of those. But this means Google Cloud Platform will be soon. It will train in approximately 5 to 10 minutes. But this will take about uh, an hour or more than that. So let me pause and now I will be back in 2 seconds. So now the training is working and it is creating bottlenecks to all those directories means in Daisy and in all the flower photos. So what is a bottleneck? And this model means this uh, image classifier will it contains the all the files means it consists of dots. I am showing you an image from okay where is it here. So. So as the training goes, the accuracy increases and the cross entropy always decreases and the training always should be means uh, increasing by the passes of time. For example, where is it? <laughs> yes, so it is training and a bottleneck is an informal term which we offer for the layer just before the final output layer. It is the definition you can see there. But I am showing what is a bottleneck. A bottleneck for example, all of the TensorFlow models store the key to that images as an uh, means uh, directory to 1 dot 2 dot same means 1, 2, 3 or etc in this manner. So a bottleneck is the last step on which the final layer of this model will be trained. Okay, so that's fine. So I'm going to train that classifier on a virtual machine by Google Cloud. So it is here and now go to your compute engine. It is I guess here. My computer is too slow because I am training this, so I am cancelling this. But I will train it on my own virtual machine. Okay, so go to your VM instances. First you have to be logged, logged in in Google Cloud and then go to your VM instances. Here it is. You should already have created some project. For example, I have Rites ML. In my account okay so it's too slow why I don't know so go ahead and create an VM instance for the purpose of training I'm showing you how to do that okay it will take some time so the name of this instance would be training and you can use the, those default but with memory I am using a, I will use a 10 core processor with 37.5 gigs of memory okay then all of that is good just change Debian to Ubuntu I will be using Ubuntu 17.10 okay and the size of the disk should be let us say 50 gigs okay 50 gigabits gigabytes then now create that okay so it will create that instance name training in a few seconds okay the reason why I am doing this because the training will took a lot of time and effort for from your machine to train on your own PC but on the Google Cloud platform you can train it in less than 5 to 10 minutes I will be showing you how to do that okay so go ahead and 
from here from the connect option select open in new browser window then it will open it take it take that some time it will take some time to open that okay so disconnecting that why this is so slow i don't know this should be faster than this but this is not we have to okay so finally i am here so just you need to install pip for installing other modules like tensorflow so just you should up dash get install python 3 dash pip i will be using python 3 but you can also say python 2 then hit Y okay so then I will be copying all the things from this repository as it suggest so I have to do this and then I have to git clone into this directory okay so it has been installed then hit pip3 install tensorflow it will install tensorflow as you already know okay so you can see that this is too fast on this but on my pc this is too slow as well because the internet is too slow on my area but in this with the google cloud platform you can get everything much faster and much better that's why i'm doing this okay but time is everything so it will take some time So it is installing all that okay so it's done and then okay so I have changed my directory to tensorflow for poets too okay so now we can download the training images but as this suggest download the training images this will work on Ubuntu but if you want to train those on your custom PC you can do that for downloading the images okay so I will hit curl http <laughs> sorry curl http and then hit enter so this is too fast and it will do in in a matter of seconds so it has done and now open again your browser now we will hit to the training process okay so I will paste all those Okay, now it will train all. Oh, wow, I just forgot to do one thing. It is Python 3, not Python 2. So I have to do Python 3 um, scripts.retrain. Means it is calling the retrain module from the scripts folder and then creating all the bottlenecks as well as summary directory and output graph to the respective fields to the respective directories by creating all the new directories so on this platform it will take about uh, less than five minutes to train and one thing to note that as i have put where it has gone yes in this up line of support the how many training its steps i have put 4000 but you can do 100 400 500 etc but one thing one thing to note that this script by default uh, it reads for 4000 steps means it will uh, add the final layer and by 4000 steps and what is the matter of steps because this is very useful because if you will give more training steps then it will the accuracy of the final graph will eventually increase that's why i'm using 4000 steps i know this this will take some time but i'm doing that because we want accuracy i want accuracy that's why i'm doing that so where it is so as you can see 300 bottleneck file has been created and it will take about two to five minutes to train so I will be pausing now and I will come back in 2 to 3 minutes. So see you guys then. 
so guys the training has been completed and i have seen a final test accuracy of about 91.2 percent okay so if you want to test whether you have the graph file and labels.txt file or not you can do that like lstf files so you can clearly see that we have the returned graph.pb graph file and the returned labels.txt the labels of the means the flower photos okay so in the meantime while the training was going i just go went to my garden and took a beautiful picture of the rose and i'm not and change its name to one dot jpc and now i'm going to upload this file here and now i will try to classify this original image so let us see in which type of uh, flower means in, in which type of category does it get classified by our written classifier which has a very good accuracy of about 92 percent sorry 91.2 percent okay so being true so it's 13 percent why is it so slow i don't know and one thing to note that till it train till it uploads i'm going to do that one thing oh yeah so how to classify the image the tensorflow repository already contains the label image dot py program okay so for that you just need to hit python m script dot label image it means that it has been it is contained in the scripts folder that is the label image file is contained in the script folder and we are calling that by the python okay my python so now i will copy that now come to here whether the training it is too slow now i have to wait and pause again so i have uploaded that and i just guessed where it was then i just changed my directory to the home and it was here one dot jpc so now i'm going to copy cp1 tab one dot jpg to tf not tf tensorflow for poets in the directory okay so i will now change my directory to tensorflow for poets okay so now how to classify your image so copy the code from here and now paste it here and the image our image is going to be one dot jpc equals one dot jpc okay once again i just forgot to do one thing it, it's it is python 3 not python 2 that's my fault okay so now it so as you can see that the classifier has classified the image of rose at about 95 percent that's very good it means our classifier is trained on at a very good quality means the classifier is very good because you can see that the rose is not here means it is only at the middle but not at the corners so it means that our classifier is trained of very good quality and it is recognized me sorry it is classifying the images well so guys in this video i told you how to classify means how to retrain the network and then classify images so guys thanks for watching this video and don't don't forget to subscribe bye bye and have a nice day yes